If you are an investor in Oregon and you're having trouble getting started in real estate, I want you to watch this show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis. I'm James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. And this property, right, this is what I want people from Oregon to focus on, to think on, right? I am working with an investor named Luke. Luke, you are from Oregon. You have $110,000 in cash. You want to start a real estate portfolio, but you don't want to do it in Oregon, right? You didn't specifically tell me why you don't want to invest in Oregon, but I got two, two reasons why I'm guessing you don't want to invest in Oregon. Number one, money, the price points, right? It's 110K ain't going to do nothing for you in Oregon, man. The price points out there are just out of control. The second thing is probably the landlord-tenant laws, right? The political climate out there, dude. Like, I mean, you're from Portland, bro. Like, is Portland even part of America? I don't even think Portland, like, is actually like do they even adhere to like the fucking constitution out there like i don't even think you have the right to fucking own property in portland like it's it's fucking holy fuck like i have heard some things about you guys as landlord tenant uh stuff i'm like 95 percent sure that if you own a rental property in portland uh oregon and you decide at some point that you want to sell it uh, even if your tenant's lease, if it was like a 12-month lease and like it's going to expire, I'm pretty sure like you have to pay them like a rehoming fee of like $16,000, I want to say. I could I could be a little off base on this, right? I don't like study uh, landlord-tenant laws in the city of Portland very often, but I know it's insane, and I'm pretty sure I, I was part of uh, – you know, some online thread at some point where somebody was talking about that. If I'm wrong, folks, correct me in the in the show notes or in the comments rather. But I think it's a sixteen thousand dollar rehoming fee, right? So price points are insane, and in my opinion, uh, your rights as a landlord, as a property owner, uh, it makes it way too insane to do business out there, right? So you come out here to the Cleveland market, right, where things are a little bit uh, more landlord friendly, and of course they're a lot cheaper, right? Which brings me to this property. 12018 Avenue of Peace, Cleveland, 44135. This is an estate sale. Just hit the market three days ago. I happen to have a pretty decent amount of knowledge on this house because I actually used to own this house. Uh, I owned this house for like, I don't remember exactly how long. I'm guessing it was like somewhere between like two and three years. I had bought this house as a foreclosure way back, probably seven, eight years ago. Uh, we rehabbed it, renovated it. Uh, we put a tenant in there, uh, maybe had one or two tenants in there, and then eventually we sold it to somebody. Uh, and then I think subsequently they ended up selling that to somebody else. I'm thinking I probably brokered that sale as well. The last person that owned this, though, okay, this uh, was a woman. She owned it, West Coast Investor. And the reason she's selling it now is because, unfortunately, she has passed away. She's no longer with us, right? So uh, we had we were managing it for her. Then at some point, she, like, went off the face of the earth. Like, we, we were managing her property, and then at some point, we just couldn't get a hold of her. Like, she completely disappeared. Uh, and then, you know, we just never heard from her again. And then it was something like, like a, a year after that, we found out uh through her estate that she had actually passed away because they contacted us seeing if we were still you know engaged in actively managing this which we weren't because you know she completely dropped off the face of the earth right so now uh you know her estate has hired the attorneys that they normally work through and they are selling this property okay i have not been on site or had any of my texts or anybody in holton wise on site in this property probably in at least like I don't know, I would guess at least 18 months, right? So outside of like the long background of having owned it for a little while, uh, that's all the info I have. So of course you're going to need to do a third-party home inspection, but more or less it, it it's you know it looks pretty similar to uh, like the overall reno that we had performed on this back in the day, right? Uh, like we installed these floors. These are vinyl 
uh, Allure flooring, right? We actually installed those. That was actually uh, back in the day when I was actually still working physically with the construction crew. Uh, so I actually was uh, physically on site. I think I did a little bit of this, okay? And then right there you see the little Holton Wise, property managed by Holton Wise sticker inside of there, right? Looks like whatever tenant or whatever person she had in there last after she dropped off uh, from us, maybe she had another person there. I'm not really sure, but it looks like they left it a little dirty. But other than that, it's all intact. They only need to do cosmetic stuff. This is a pretty new looking furnace, updated electrical, bada bing, bada boom, okay? So with this one, because Luke, I know you were trying to get singles uh, under 40 in today's day and age not possible when i bought this way back in the day yeah but not today brother uh what i think we could do here though is their their estate is trying to sell it for 64.9 i'd like to see you put in a bid at 50 and then i think it's gonna take about 10k from what i'm seeing in these photos remember we have not been on site in a very long time i think it's at least 18 months okay we don't know what happened when she dropped off the face did she drop off the face of the earth uh, with us and then immediately pass away? I don't know, okay? There was a time of at least a year, I believe, between when we last had contact with her and when we found out she had passed away. So I don't know what was going on with that property at that time. So we're going to go off of just the photos, and then, of course, you continue on your due diligence. But from what I'm seeing, it appears all you need to do is some cosmetics, right? Repaint, patch some holes, clean everything up, Maybe do a little work in that kitchen there, right? So I think about 10 G's, right? I don't get why this wall is empty. You guys should be advertising your business right there. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. But of course, when we get the home inspector in there, if there's bigger issues, we will find that out, right? So I think it'll be about 60K, right? Very cheap, just like the the last property. These are two of the cheapest properties I think you could do. With this one, you'll be able to rent it for eleven hundred. You're going to get more out of a Section Eight tenant because this is a four two, not a three one, right? So thirteen thousand two hundred scheduled to come in for the year. I anticipate you'll be bringing home as a clear NOI almost seven thousand dollars if you pay the sixty. Uh, all in total investment. Remember that would be a purchase price of fifty, so your down payment would be twelve and a half. But then you have to add another ten thousand dollars as your total upfront cost because you got to do the cosmetic rental. So you would have a cash outlay of twenty two and a half and a small mortgage of twenty eight uh, one two five, which would present itself as a twenty one percent cash on cash return or a twelve cap. One thing to know about this particular neighborhood in comparison with the neighborhood of the last video I showed you, this is a higher quality neighborhood. I would consider this a nice, solid, high-grade C neighborhood where the other one would be one letter below. I'd consider that a high-grade D neighborhood. So, uh, Luke, brother, let me know what you want to do with these two singles. Do they uh, meet your original goal of trying to get a single under 40 k No, but... Are they anywhere near what you're dealing with in Portland, what you're dealing with in Oregon? No, not from a pricing perspective, not from a landlord-tenant policy perspective. So everybody else, if you're out there in Oregon and you're like, shit, I want to buy a house for 60 k that rents for 1100 send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Include your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you, because you don't have the opportunity to buy this because I sent this to Luke privately, and I only released it publicly to you guys on Holton Wise TV after the dust had settled. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.